Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the MG Cool Explorer Pro. This is a 4K Wi-Fi action camera that you can find on Gearbest for sub 40 bucks, which is a pretty good value if you're looking for a decent GoPro alternative at a vastly reduced price point and you're taking it with you on vacation, you don't want to bring something super expensive. So this is part of a new generation of action cams that features a enhanced 4K resolution compared to 1080p, and there's also also access to Wi-Fi, which means that you can wirelessly connect it to a phone. It supports both iOS and Android, and you can download the app, and afterwards you are able to both view as well as automatically take images from the app. So this is what the camera looks like. We'll take a closer look at that in a second. There's a fairly typical waterproof case that's included, so it, it's submergible under 30 meters of water for underwater shots. Inside the second packet, there's access to the standard accessories, including various mounts that you would want to attach onto helmets, onto your uh, shirt. There's also a nice tripod a kind of mount that you can attach onto the case and then pop it onto a standard tripod, and of course other clips and uh, various uh, you know, charging cables, which uses a standard micro USB port. And finally, there is an instruction manual that's documented in full color that tells you what uh, items are included, and of course, some basic specifications about the camera itself and how to operate it. Although most action cameras look alike on the outside, the sensors and build can be vastly different, and MG Cool actually used a fairly high-end uh, materials when they constructed this particular model. There's access to a Sony IMX179 sensor, which captures fairly crisp looking uh, video, so 4K uh, up to 30 frames per second, and it even goes down to 720p if you want to capture video at 120 frames per second for slow motion. CPU is the All Winner V3, and again, it's a uh, Wi Fi range is rough, roughly 13 meters or so, and it has a 170 angle wide angle lens, which uh, is actually pretty good, it captures a nice amount of your landscape view, although it's a fixed focus camera like most action cams instead of autofocus, so up close shots are not going to be as sharp. The case here is a very typical, fairly standard stuff. There's access to your controls, which still can be accessed inside the case, including starting to record an image, turning the device on, and navigating up and down through the main menus. So if we pop open the case here and take a quick look at the camera here, we have access to a standard 2 inch display on the other side, which is a LCD panel that uh, is relatively sharp, although it's uh, not a touchscreen display, so you still have to use these controls on the side. The material of the of the camera is built out of the soft touch rubber, which is actually pretty good. It feels nice, it's substantial, and doesn't attract too many fingerprints or dust. And on the side, there's access to the micro SD card slot, a micro HDMI port, and the micro USB port for charging. There are an array of microphones as well as LED lights located on various sides of the camera, and again, the controls for taking an image, cycling through the various menus, and then going up and down through the uh, settings. The battery compartment is located down below. It takes a fairly typical battery, which is rated at 1050 million hours, which gives you roughly 100 minutes of uh, 4K video recording. It charges up in under three hours using micro USB, and it's pretty good, I would say. Under two hours of uh, video recording, um, it gets a little bit warm after you turn uh, you know, 4K on, as well as the Wi-Fi module on, but uh, battery life is definitely on the longer side, especially since it's a bit larger than the typical 960 milliamp hours that we see in these action cameras. Um, in terms of the proprietary app, which we can take a look at next, it's called Explorer Pro. It's a custom designed by MG Cool, and it works pretty well. It's an elegant interface that gives you access to things like uh, settings where you can toggle back and forth between the resolution of the camera. I can turn on loop recording so that once it reaches full capacity on a memory card, it re-records over what was there before. So as a dashboard camera or security cam, it works pretty well, and it can be used even plugged into power. It can still be turned on when it's charging. There's also time lapse uh, as well as sound that you can turn on or off parameters, the image resolution which glows all the way up to uh, 16 megapixels for still images. There's also a media gallery to take a look at the images and videos I've taken with the camera. And of course, a simplified shooting menu that gives me quick access to some of those functions once again. And I can start taking an image or recording video directly and look at the frame rates and resolution here. Um, you can see a digital viewfinder on the top of the display. And if I rotate my phone, it enhances that display to fill up the space of the screen to get a larger view. And you can see that even 
even in indoor shots, it remains fairly good uh, in terms of capturing a nice amount of detail and colors are pretty accurate. It definitely gives you a bit of a stretched fish eye effect just because it's a wide angle lens. And um, it's not the sharpest camera in the world, but uh, it performs well for such a small compact size. We'll do a bit more testing and show you guys some sample video clips next. But for now, the app itself is clean, it's responsive, I didn't have any crashes in my brief testing with it, and it's also quite swift. So if you can tap on an image or a recording a video happens almost instantaneously since it's using Wi-Fi as opposed to Bluetooth transmission. All right, so taking a look at the menu of the camera next, I can tap on the power key for a few seconds to turn it on, and you can see the, you have a boot screen of the MG Cool logo, and afterwards you can you know, kind of see in real time how wide angle this lens is, even if I put my hands off at the side where the viewfinder of the actual camera um, that I'm recording this video with can't see it, the uh, Explorer Pro is still able to locate it. Here's some Wi-Fi information that you need to use to connect it using the app for the first time, but let's exit out of that. And we have some basic info on the bottom of the screen, such as our battery status, our recording uh, date, as well as how long the camera has been on, microphone settings, there's also the resolution settings, Wi-Fi settings, and your micro SD card settings. Again, it's very wide angle, um, so for landscape shots, it performs best, especially outdoors for action and sport purposes. It really just works quite well. If you want to capture your moments or record something when you're on vacation. Um, the settings on the, on the side here are pretty intuitive. Tapping on the top here brings up the Wi-Fi status, and then the mode key tapping on it once cycles through the other features, such as still images in addition to slow-mo, as well as our uh, media that we have stored on the device. I can play back videos directly on the camera, and of course, advanced settings. Uh, so I can take a look at things such as, you know, the resolution, the timestamp, stuff like that, and then of course going back to the video recording mode. So it's pretty fairly simple and easy to understand and to start using. Next we're going to give you guys a brief video clip to Hopefully those test shots gave you guys a better idea of what this camera is capable of in outdoor environments. I would say it's stronger than the past 4K action cams that we've seen in the same price range, just because the sensor is for sure stronger. It captures more light, it's a, a bit better in terms of the overall color saturation, it still remains very accurate to what's out there, and it also captures more within one frame of each, each shot. The Wi-Fi works without any problems, the app is well designed, nicely integrated, and the build quality is also quite relevant rugged and strong, so there's not anything really that's uh, glaring or, or missing from this package. And at this really low price point, I'm actually quite impressed with, with what you will find here. With the waterproof casing and the number of accessories which add to the value proposition, it really is a strong, strong, strong uh, low-cost action camera for taking with you on a quick vacation trip, or if you want to pick it up as a first action cam before investing in a more expensive option. You can check out more details in our upcoming official written review, but for now this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the MG Cool Explore Pro 4K Wi-Fi Action Cam.